Hey Simleys, it's Deligracy here and I'm going to be talking a little bit more quietly because my house is asleep. Everyone who lives in my house is asleep so I don't want to wake them up but I did know that you guys or some of you guys really wanted to see the makeover of my Barbie LP characters for season two. Uh, so anyways, I'm just going to do a little bit of talking and explain to you why I'm making the choices that I am and give you guys a little bit of a I guess, description of each of the characters. So to begin with, we're giving Diamond a makeover. Diamond is Barbie's eldest daughter and first child. And basically she has taken straight after Barbie. Uh, just as a heads up, all of Barbie and Ken's kids have turned out really good looking. Usually in The Sims 4, when you merge genetics of a male and female Sim, uh, their kids can turn out really weird looking, but these guys hit the genetic jackpot. So um, really with Diamond, I kind of see her as a type of character who has grown up really wealthy in the Barbie dream house mansion. And she's always had a lot of boys interested in her. She's always been quite popular. So, and she's also very beautiful. So I'm thinking that that might have gone to her head a little bit for the purpose of her character. And she has grown up a little bit self-absorbed, but at the same time, very, very ambitious and quite competitive. So she's going to be quite a good businesswoman. I really want her to become an art dealer. So we're going to try and get her up higher in the art career because she can paint. Uh, we've been making sure that she paints quite a bit all through season one. And basically her style is very much like Barbie, but perhaps a little bit more sophisticated, not quite as pink, uh, although she loves color. So she always likes her colors to match and kind of go together. So she's the type of girl who wear, who will wear an entire blue outfit one day or a an entire kind of white outfit one day. She's ultra glamorous. She always has makeup and lip gloss on. She always has jewelry and she always wears heels. So pretty much she always wants to look fabulous, just like her mom. And um, I had a lot of fun designing her clothes for this part. I kind of wanted them to look expensive and high fashion, but also a little like almost too well put together in a way. So, uh, yeah, right now I really wanted to use this yellow skirt and yellow top. And I was just like, this is so much yellow. And I keep going back to it. But in the end, we actually make the skirt blue just to break it up a little bit. Because I kind of was a bit unsure if it was almost too much, even for diamond. Um, but then again, uh, she also has her number one outfit that you saw at the beginning is very, very blue. It's like this blue blazer, blue and green color blocking. I thought that was pretty cool because it matches the earrings perfectly in the game. I was like, oh, these earrings are just made for this outfit. So I was pretty happy about that. And uh, then, yeah, we're about to get to the blue skirt in a second. The weirdest thing happened to me today. I did first aid training uh, for today and so because of that I was up super duper early because uh, I needed to make some business cards and I wanted to get like an embosser or an embossing stamp so when I write back to fan mail I can emboss the paper with the Deligracy logo and it look really pretty and like nice for you guys to receive who have taken the time to write to me so I got up really early to design that and send it off to the printer and also design my business cards. And then I went to first aid and it was kind of nice to go to first aid because for my work, they asked for someone to put their hand up and volunteer to be the first aid person in the office. So I said, yeah, I'll do it. So I went along. It was a nice break from work, but it was still the same working hours as I usually work anyway. And when I got home at 5.30, I was like really, really tired. I was like, oh, I have to record um, or I really want to record. And I was like, oh, I'll just like just lie on my bed for a second. Just have a little sit. And then I woke up at 9.30 p.m. I was like, oh, no, I need to record Barbie. <laughs> so I've had like a four hour sleep already, which is really annoying because it puts your sleep out of whack. Um, and it's now quarter to 12 quarter to midnight uh but in a way I think it's kind of better to get 
a little less sleep tonight, seeming as I've already had four hours. Um, but yeah, super duper annoying. So what I actually did when I woke up is I bought a Tamagotchi, which is really random, but I must have had that sleep and been dreaming about pets. And I just woke up and I was like, oh my God, I need to buy a Tamagotchi. So I bought one and I posted it on Instagram and uh, someone was like, oh, Deli's sponsored. Uh, but that wasn't a sponsorship on Instagram at all. I just posted it because I really wanted to get one. So that's exciting. Anyway, I'm kind of liking Diamond's pink look. I quite like this hair. This hair I actually, in the last part of season one, I used this hair on her sister Amethyst. And I feel like, and a lot of the comments were telling me this as well, um, but I realized that hair was just a little too much for Amethyst and I thought it suited Diamond a lot better. And you'll also notice Diamond has a different hairstyle for pretty much almost every outfit because she puts that much effort into what she looks like. She'll wear her hair differently each day. You know, she's all about looking the best. <laughs> so anyways, we're just putting her... Uh, in her final everyday outfit, I think. Or do we do a fifth one as well? She has a lot of options because she has a lot of clothes. Oh, that's right. I was trying to kind of do a nice everyday blazer type of thing. But in the end, I realized this just looked way too dressed up. So we actually use this outfit for a party wear, I think, I believe. And then, yeah. The pink's actually really nice on her. I like that. Oh, we're up to my favorite outfit. Okay, so this outfit, we go with a mint green and gunmetal gray look. Well, I don't really have to say gunmetal gray. It's just a pastel green and gray look, which you guys might think, ooh. Uh, but this is actually my favorite outfit. I love this slouchy jumper with the sequins on it because I think it's so perfect for Diamond's personality and because she loves sparkles. She she will go that extra mile to be all sparkly and feminine. So what we actually do is we do change it to green in a little while and kind of pair it with these gray tweed shorts and they look really cute. And uh, in terms of makeup, she does wear a lot of makeup. I wanted the eye makeup to look quite heavy in a way. I think she'd cake it on just a little bit <laughs> uh yeah but we also give barbie a different look after diamond we also give gem a different look amethyst and ken a slightly different look we change ken's hair and a couple of clothes uh actually we do barely anything to gem i think oh here we go so i love this outfit i, I think that looks so cute on her really really nice and uh just so diamond, <laughs> so diamond. I kind of wanted to use that jumper again on her, but I think when she, or oh, later down the track, we'll change it up if we want her to wear a different color one day. I wouldn't mind in the LP if we dress diamond a couple of times to go out to a special something perhaps, uh, but she definitely has a lot of options, that's for sure. Uh, if you guys haven't watched season one and you're wondering why all the kids have names that are gems, gemstones, like diamond, amethyst, gem, uh, and ruby is actually the little baby and topaz is the other little brother. Uh, basically, the storyline was that Barbie's parents uh, were in the Sims, in the Sims family, they were diamond agents. So they, they, they made their fortune from selling diamonds. They probably had a jewelry store like Tiffany's where they sold all of their diamonds. And so all around the house, there's a lot of crystals and they inherited a lot of money when Barbie's mom, Margie died and Georgia died before her. Uh, but they got the fortune from Margie and uh, Margie was fabulous. Margie was the grandma who had breast implants and a facelift and she was fabulous dating a younger man until the day she passed away uh, but she comes back as a ghost now and then um, all of the time to care for little Ruby the newborn baby but uh, because of that Barbie decided to name her children after gemstones because of her family's job history so uh, that's why they all have different names also Diamond has a spray tan constantly uh, Barbie's Barbie and Ken are uh, a bit more paler than her. We get rid of Barbie's spray tan in this makeover, actually, that we put on her for Diamond's birthday. Uh, but 
Diamond, I decided to keep the tan on. I wanted it to look like she put tan on every day. And uh, here we are going back to that yellow skirt again. Maybe I will go back to yellow because I, I kind of like it in The Sims. I don't think many people could wear that in real life though, but it works in The Sims. Oh, I just got a message from Boy Fligracy. He's going to bed, so I'm going to say good night, kiss hug, kiss hug, sleep well. Sent. I don't usually pay attention to my phone uh, when I'm recording, but seeming as though this is a much more chilled out video, I feel like you guys watching it won't mind too much. <laughs> and uh, I just think Diamond is so ridiculously good looking. So it's Amethyst. I don't like these are the dream sim genetics, I swear, if I don't say so myself. <laughs> Such a pleasant surprise. And she actually looks quite different to Barbie. You know, she definitely isn't the same face shape as Barbie or Ken. It's like it's just a perfect blend of each of their, I guess. Oh, I've got a sleepy leg. Um. I don't know, each of their looks. This is her formal wear. I wanted her to have that off the shoulder dress because I think she had, I mean, she could have easily gone for a long dress, but I, to be honest, I think I'm just a bit sick of the long dresses in the game. I need some more, even though we just got given more anyway. <laughs> uh, I need more dresses. But uh, I just thought, I don't know, seeming as though, uh, her name's Diamond. I wanted to give her some diamond jewelry and I thought that went really well with the blue color of the dress. So yeah. And uh, we do try it in red. She looks so good in red, actually. We put her in red bathers and she looks like she stepped out Baywatch. I think they look awesome. And I love those white leggings. I watched The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and <laughs> don't judge me. And I, my favorite character on there is Yolanda and why I like her is because she's actually had a lot of health issues uh on the show because she suffers uh from oh what's the word uh Lyme disease so she basically has said she's getting rid of anything unnatural in her diet anything like she's not doing Botox anymore she's not getting manicures anymore because of the chemicals and uh I think she's done something to her hair dye as well. So she gets dye that's better for her hair. And I actually really respect that. And I think it's quite refreshing that on such a, you know, trash show, uh, I don't want to offend anyone, but it is pretty trashy. Let's be honest. <laughs> I think we could all agree on that. Um, even though I love it. Never miss an episode. Uh, I don't know. I think it's refreshing that someone will do that on that show. Cause it is refreshing. And, uh, and it is a good thing, a positive thing to be aware of. So anyways, I am going off on a total ramble because I'm a little bit spaced out and sleepy still. But basically she wears these white leggings with like white leopard print on them. It sounds kind of, it's hard to explain, but they look so good. So I kind of was obsessed with giving diamond white leggings for an athletic outfit. I quite like this party outfit too. I like the pink and black. I was struggling to choose whether or not to give her the black sequins uh, skirt because I thought that was quite pretty. But I think we, I think we keep the pink because it's the Barbie LP. So I figured that's pretty good. And also someone else had a great idea. They said you should release the Barbie LP on Wednesdays and we should wear pink. <laughs> if you get the Mean Girls reference. I thought that was awesome. So I might actually change Barbies to Wednesdays just to do that. And I will, I don't actually have much pink though. I have a pink Polaroid camera, but yeah, uh, maybe I need to invest in some pink. We're getting to the red Baywatch bathers in a second. Uh, she also has a one piece, cut out one piece, but my favorite is definitely these red bathers. I think red is amazing, is an amazing color on blondes, uh, if they're tanned and blonde, it's amazing. Like it looks so good. And, you know, maybe it's because that Baywatch reference. I don't know, but I think it's a great color. If you do have fair hair and tanned skin, olive skin. Uh, although I think r actually red looks kind of amazing on anyone. It's one of those colors, even on redheads. You know, some people, are, people say 
if you're a redhead, you shouldn't wear red. But I disagree with that. I've seen redheads look amazing in red. Uh, is it Christina Hendricks who was in Mad Men? She wears red and she looks awesome. And her name's Big Red and she has red hair. So, killing it. Here's Jem. We're just changing a few of his outfits. Nothing too drastic. I was considering changing his hair, but I kind of like it. I think, uh, I think it's nice. But I don't know. I just... I would like more swatches probably in the guy's clothes. I love these bright blue denim shorts. I think a bright blue denim is awesome, especially if it's like that electric darker blue bright denim, if that makes sense. It looks so good with black. And uh, yeah, he's just got a couple of outfits. I think he has two pair. no, he has a pair of pants and a pair of shorts that he's just changed, that we just change the tops on because I kind of think that's what a lot of guys do. They just kind of change their T-shirts and wear the same bottoms. Uh, so I thought that was good. And Jem, his character is really in season two, he's becoming quite a player. I think he's a bit self-absorbed at this point. And uh, he, he likes women. He likes old women, perhaps. He was hitting on a lady at, at a bar. I think it was the mum of one of his friends, the mum, I think it's the mum, or the mum of one of Diamond's friends. So it's, it'll be interesting when he actually ages up to a young adult to see who he goes for. Uh, but he's also kind of on the tune with a girl named Honey at the moment, who he's trying very hard to get with. And then this is Barbie. I thought maybe we should cut Barbie's hair to make it short, but in the end I was like, nah, I kind of want to keep Barbie as Barbie. And, uh, her face was looking a little weird. I'm not sure why, but then I just reverted it back to how it was after I was starting to change it a little, a little bit. I was like, no, it must be the same. So I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but it looks much better when the hair's on the side like this. So we're going with that hairstyle, giving her some glossy, glossy lips. And uh, last time I dressed her, I must have been in a really girly stage, really girly almost a little bit juvie stage. So in, for season two, we're going to keep that extra pink Barbie look, but uh, slightly less kitty, I think. Uh, the electric blue looks pretty cool, but I don't know. wasn't really sold. We keep the pink sequin skirt, which I think is quite a, quite a staple for Barbie with her white shirt. I think she looks fab in that. So that's her her everyday outfit. I mean, if someone's going to wear sequins on an everyday basis, it's going to be Barbie. And uh, I think we keep this pink dress as well because it's just, I just like it. Now this we had in season one and a lot of you guys will be like, why would you dress her in that? But that is so Barbie, like so Malibu Barbie. It's just that is a Barbie outfit. So I'm like, we have to bring it back in season two. So I changed it to silver and blue as opposed to the purple one we started with. And uh, I also just put this really simple, sweet, summery pink dress on her because I thought it was just nice and easy. And uh, finally, we're just going to give her a bit of this. These kinds of dresses, I like to call them, call a MILF dress. Now, MILF in Australia is a word that's used really casually. But I've realized when I've said it on YouTube, a few people in the comments almost get a bit offended by it. It means the same thing. But here in Australia, it's more of like a joke. And I don't know. Um, but a MILF dress to me, I don't use MILF, the word to make it to be rude or anything. But um, it just means a very attractive lady <laughs> dress, young mom dress, kind of like a soccer mom dress. So I thought Barbie needed one of those. Her formal wear is a little bit different to what she'd usually wear. We're going with that blue and silvery theme again. Uh, oh no, blue and black theme. So that, that's a little bit outrageous for Barbie. And I thought she looked great with this big hat. It's just been the Melbourne Cup here in Australia, which is quite a big an event, uh, quite a big event. And uh, women get dressed up in beautiful dresses and they wear big hats and fascinators and men get all suited up. So I was a little bit influenced by that with the hat choice and uh, she just has some nice pink running wear. Pajamas, pretty much the same, I think, except we changed this towel to a towel dress because I thought the towel dress was so ridiculous. I'm like, well, if someone's going to have a towel dress, it's going to be Barbie. 
So we just popped her in that and uh, slight change to her bathers. We put her in the Malibu Barbie one piece, as I like to call it. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of Ken here. Hopefully you'll see his hair change in a second, unless I got the wrong part, did I? Ah, uh, damn. Anyways, his head has just become more slicked back, a little bit more Ken, uh, which you'll see in the LP, but I think it just looks more like the Ken dolls I remember. Now, Amethyst, in her makeover in the last part, when she aged up, I decided she'd be a pastel goth. But uh, after I did it, I kind of thought it wasn't quite right for a character because her character was described as being like hating, hating pink, tomboy. And I just thought to go to a pastel goth was almost a bit too girly for her in a way, even though there's a lot of edge to it. So instead, I decided to keep her, I decided to keep her purple hair because her name is amethyst i really liked that and a lot of you guys actually did like the fringe hairstyle so i kept that hairstyle and i think it really suits her face shape too i like it and i don't think i've ever used it before but i was going through these clothes and <laughs> strangely when i put her in this grandma outfit i was like you know that kind of looks a bit hipster like a bit alternative and because she wants to be a musician i thought this is kind of perfect for her. So I'm not sure how many viewers will get the look I'm going for. But when I went to school, uh, my school was quite arty. There were a lot of musicians there and there were a lot of like hipster kids and my school was free dressed too. So uh, people were quite experimental with what they wore. And this like old vintage look was, I don't know, really familiar to me. So I thought that would be good for Amethyst. So she kind of has that all black look. Uh, so she's got a bit of a goth vibe, a bit of a hipster vibe, and she'll also have a slight hippie vibe too. She kind of wears whatever she wants. She doesn't really care and she's not overly girly about it. And to be honest, after doing this video and creating a style, she's one of my favorite characters in The Sims 4 I've created. I just, I love how unique she is. And she wears these hippie pants with brown like boots. And I was just like, she just doesn't care. Like, I, I like it. She's so different. So I don't know what you guys will think of that, but I quite like it. And also wearing all black because she is a musician, I think that kind of works well because it looks like she's just come from a concert. Often an orchestra will all wear black. So I thought that was kind of fitting too. I also imagine Amethyst would be able to sing as well. She'd be a really good singer. So uh, yeah, we're going to get her learning guitar. I think I'm kind of want wanting her to maybe get to the career of a pop star and Diamond, who I kind of want to get married early and settle down with a baby, like taking after Barbie. I feel like she might get a little bit jealous of Amethyst because Amethyst ends up getting some fame, whereas she chose the path of a family life quite early on. So, um, yeah. Her formal wear is quite nice. It's purple. Uh, again, a huge emphasis on her name being purple. And uh, for party wear, we put her in her grandma dress, but which I kind of want to change to the mint green version. I think that looks better with her hair. So I might change that when we go into the LP. But I also made a second outfit for her because I feel like Barbie would say, you cannot wear that to a party. Let's just put you in a nice party dress. And Amethyst being probably stubborn and wanting to do what she wants, understandably, she would pair it with a cute dress she'd pair with like stockings and black boots or something. Her swim outfit is kind of channeling the old 50s swimsuit look, uh, especially with her hair up tied with a like a ribbon almost or a tie. But yeah, that's pretty much the look of all of them. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to sharing season two Let's Play Barbie with you all. 